first, it is my privilege to introduce Her Honor, the Honorable Janet Austin, Lieutenant Governor of British Columbia. Your Honor, your journey is just beginning, and we are absolutely delighted that our foundation and its Community Achievement Awards has been given the great gift of becoming your first official event. So for this, my first official uh, function as Lieutenant Governor, there's nothing that could be more meaningful to me than to officiate at the BC Community Achievement Awards. Um, I spent much of my own career in the company of really remarkable volunteers and community leaders, and I've certainly witnessed the profound um, positive and transformative effect that they have on their communities. On behalf of the board, it is my great pleasure to present the 2018 Mitchell Award to Kim Vanderward. Kim serves as a committed role model for young Indigenous professional women committed to helping them flourish in their educational endeavours. I call upon Kevin Albers of Victoria. Recognized for his outstanding contributions towards affordable housing for Indigenous and non-Indigenous people in BC, Kevin understands that communities are always stronger when diverse. So we build and manage affordable housing all over the province of British Columbia for Indigenous families. Um, we provide housing to over 5,000 Indigenous people in the province of BC and we also provide development and consulting services to both our organization, our society, and to other organizations that have dreams of providing affordable housing to their communities across the province. These people are a real cross-section of British Columbia. They are from small towns, they are from big towns, they are men and women, they are young and old. They do huge things across BC and some of them do incredible things right in their own home. I call upon Shirley Henry of Pemberton. Her commitment runs deep, so deep in fact that she had to remove her kitchen window to allow for the removal of a giant cake she had, she had baked for the 1st Combat Engineer Regiment who frequent Pemberton for their practices. Shirley is known for stepping in whenever help is needed and her willingness to step up and get the job done defines her as a true local hero whose community spirit has earned her a place in the collective heart of Pemberton. I think their motivation is to make their communities a better place to live and to live meaningful lives themselves. And it's time to let them shine and say, you know, we really like what you've done and, you know, we're holding you up to show to the world um, how you've helped make our community into a good place. Sergeant Jag Kosa of the Combined Forces Special Enforcement Unit is committed to curbing gang violence in his local community. Uh, part of my job is to go out and raise education and awareness on this topic so we can prevent younger kids from getting into gangs. And thanks to his community outreach, young lives have been changed and hope has been restored to many families. None of us are working uh, to get an award, but when you get something like this, it, it shows that you're on the right path and you have the support of your community. It's good to recognize those champions because then it encourages other people to come forward. And then we have communities that are vibrant, communities that are safe, communities that are fun. It's a fabulous group of people. It's an amazing group of people. And they're from every corner of the province and they're doing so many wonderful things. I call upon Lisa Talio of Bella Coola. Lisa Talio believes the most profound way to create positive change is by supporting opportunities for Indigenous women. The challenge is women don't see themselves as leaders, that, you know, they see themselves as a lot of things, but I think they exempt themselves from leadership before they have a true understanding of what it actually is. With grace and purpose, Geraldine Hinton masterfully advocates for the lives and welfare 
of the elderly. Quality of life, uh, programs and services to support them living independently and being autonomous in their old age, and having policies and programs, services that they can access. Honestly, I'm very humbled by this because as I've worked with people in the community over so many years, there are so many wonderful volunteers that just contribute hours and time and, and energy and skills. None of us stands alone in our work. For every one of us here today, there are scores more back home doing similar work. Some in aid of our projects, but many more with other worthwhile initiatives. They surely deserve our thanks and gratitude too. You set the standard for citizenship to which we all aspire. You give me hope for a better world. And I'm deeply honoured to be in your company today. Thank you so much. <laughs>